on screen, as in life, the briefest of moments can often give the most lasting impressions. Sponsored by Aberystwyth University, the nominations for short form and animation are... Dancing in circles. Try not to be a hero. The homing bird. Take care of your man for me. Make sure she behaves herself. The hunchback in the park. Mister, they called. Hey, mister. The truant boys from the town, running when he had heard them clearly, on out of sound. Past lake and rockery, laughing when he shook his paper, hunchbacked in mockery. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Dancing in Circles. <laughs> Thank you, BAFTA. This is uh, an incredible honor for us. Our, our film is celebrating women, so this award really is in recognition for the talented women uh, who worked on this film. Of course, uh, an equal thank you goes to the men and the actors on the film, <laughs> because we're a team and we did this together. But a special thank you goes to my co-writer, Ethan Jones, who helped me conceive the film, and a quick thank you to my mom and dad and his parents who have supported us along the way. Diolch o galon i chi BAFTA. Um, Fysar ffilma ddim wedi mynd i gael ei wneud heb talent and hygoel cyn. Um, Mae hi mor arbennig a dyn ni wedi cael y criw fwyaf arbennig i wneud prosiect sydd yn ofnadwy o werth lot i ni. Diolch o rywun i chi. Diolch. Thank you. How did, um, how did you come up with the concept for the film? Um, well, it's based on a real... Uh, well, yeah, I, I met a lady when I had to go to the theatre and I had to eat my lunch and there was nowhere else to sit. And, you know, London being a relatively lonely place on the time, um, <coughs> I had to ask this lady if I could sit with her and, and eat and eat my lunch with her. And uh, I said, you know, that it was Welsh Valentine's Day. It could be a bit of a date sort of thing. And she was like, oh, uh, yeah, come and join me. And my ex-husband used to be Welsh. And she was telling me about how he'd been in contact for the first time in 30 years. Um, and it was sort of, we got chatting, um, and, and it was just about how they missed each other in terms of communication when they broke up and had their divorce, and how she was sort of regretting it all. And, you know, 30 years had gone by, and, you know, it was, and he'd been back in contact. So that's where the, that's where the idea came yeah. from, and then we sort of used a bit of poetic license yeah. to sort of advance that. Uh, we wanted idea. to show the relationship over three different decades yeah. and sort of see what happens. Um, you know, how you have to forgive yourself for something you've done in the past, the mistakes you've maybe made in order to live in the present. So just juxtapose the three yeah. decades and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, put a bit of dance in there, <laughs> put a music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So was it the story that gave you the inspiration for the look and feel of the film? Yes, absolutely. I think everyone has had that one relationship that has made them feel what if. Um, I think everyone has had that. And this is a, a kind of maybe a fable in, you know, it, it's paralleled with Dwynwen, the, the, the story of Dwynwen, that if you ostracise yourself it can be worse. Um, you know, if you keep those channels of communication open, then, you know, then you, you can always approach, you know, a hard situation with love and kindness. And I think that's how you should always end a relationship or, you know, you know. Yeah. Let's take a look at these nominations. Jenna Coleman as Clara Oswald in Doctor Who would Kill the Moon. You make us your friend, then that is your moon too, and you can damn well help us when we need it. I was helping. What, by clearing off? Yes. Yeah, well, clear off! Go on! You can clear off, get back in your lonely, your lonely bloody TARDIS, and you don't come back. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed, Yolch and Vaur Jan a BAFTA. Um, it means a lot to me to win this award um, and as the first female director to win I'd like to 